Listen, government of Israel, the wonderful and heroic people of Israel are willing to suffer the economic crisis caused by this war, the missiles and the fear at night, even willing to pay with the lives of their finest children because you explain that winning the war comes at a high price. The people of Israel are prepared for all this, but only if you explain what victory is, or rather what it is not. First of all, you do not have a mandate to bring in humanitarian aid, money or fuel, which is the lifeblood of a terror organization whom you claim to want to destroy. To allow in aid is like sending them arms. So let's just give them some weapons and get it over with. Another thing that needs to be clear to you, you do not have a mandate to send our children deep into enemy territory, to go house to house, tunnel to tunnel, to risk their lives and pay with their lives, and all that to topple the Hamas regime, only to transfer for rule to Abu Mazen, the Nazi Holocaust denier who pays the families of the terrorists money for each shaheed, or, and not to anyone else like him either. Because ultimately, if this journey that includes thousands of people killed, hundreds of abducted and hundreds of missing, economic and emotional crisis, if it brings back the certified repeated bluff of the two states for two people with, with child terrorists as our neighbors who grew up to become psychopathic bloodthirsty sadists, so tell us now so that we know and can, un and can decide. Because in the unwritten contract between the citizens and the state about which she, we heard so much this year, there was nothing about that in it. And this, that is something that the people don't want and are not willing to fight for. That's why you can't ask for that. Because that means that we're fighting no less and no more than for the Palestinian people. And the Palestinian leaders don't even care for the invented Palestinian people. And you can be sure that we don't feel like wasting the lives of our children for an invented people. We have our own real people, our own real nation to take care of. And we, unlike them, we care about life. And that's why victory for us means a life with security. And security, we have to say, can only come with the reoccupation and resettlement of Gaza. Not fun to hear on the different television stations. They don't like to say it. They've already started the brainwashing and mind games. And anyone who even dares to talk about it is immediately called delusional and messianic and crazy. And the Gaza quagmire. So no, I want you to know. To know. Most of the people think that that is the solution. You can hold a referendum about it if you have any doubt. Doubts. For years, you've been deceiving the people with your mistaken conceptions and deterrence, and in Simchat Torah, it almost cost us our state. And there is another minor element here, and it's called revenge. We have the right to take revenge for people who roasted babies alive in a kitchen oven. We have the right to take revenge for the decapitation of soldiers and rape of young women by entire groups of terrorists. I don't think there's anything in the world bitter or cruel enough for what these subhumans deserve. Unfortunately, we have very few ways of hurting them. We have learned one thing, though, we Jews. We've learned that it really hurts them to lose land. So if that's what hurts them, that's what we'll take. The full-fledged rightist government of Israel, who got their power from us, I want you to know this. Entire memorial days, with the names of soldiers that fought and died to liberate land, and Israeli governments that gave away that land for so-called peace for which those soldiers died. You didn't have that right and now you certainly don't have that right. They're not fighting so that you can give back what they died for. We promised Ortsuk a balcony overlooking the Gaza beach and that Gaza would be a place of flowers and butterflies and Jewish children playing with balls and on seesaws. And that's your mandate. And only that, that and only that is called victory.